Last time we saw how we can reorganize the way we access our static files and also our templates. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to reuse templates and some of the cool things that basically templates allow us to do. So for every website, you guys will realize that every website is going to have a header and a footer or sometimes a sidebar. So things like those that you might want to reuse in different places, Django provides different utilities and different template tags that we can use to be able to reuse the same template in different places. Let's say we wanted to have a template for a header to reuse. So here in templates, I'm going to create a folder here called partials. This is the convention you will normally see like in Django projects. So they put like an underscore and then, then the word partials. So the underscore is to separate this from the different apps. So in here, now we can create, let's say a header.html. Okay, so let's say in the header, we wanted to show maybe a user's name when they are logged in or show a, a login button. So for now, I'm just gonna have a header here like this, nothing much really. And then another thing we see mostly is, let's say we wanted to add things like bootstrap here, or let's say we wanted to add maybe some other framework. So we don't really want to be adding those in every file we do in every file we create so you see those two cases one is we want to include files in different locations one is we want to have a file that basically do, does the setup and we can like inherit from it so let's also create that kind of file so let's create this file and call it base.html so what this file is going to do is set up everything about like our whole layout so this one let's call it here I'm gonna have home, but of course I'll show you how to change this title dynamically. So whenever you create a file like this, remember now this one we are calling it base. Whenever you create a file like this that we are going to extend from, we need a way to now be able to extend from it. So to be able to extend from it, it needs to be basically allowing us to. So here let's have a div where all our other content will go. So now here we use a block called content like this. So if we if if we inherit from this, which I'm gonna show you. So let's say here we have maybe a specific text that says hello. And of course this can be a representative like having added like CDN links or included CSS up there or some fonts. So this can be an equivalent. And of course we'll be extending this file as we go. So let's say we wanted to now extend this file in our this file, this one we are seeing here. So we would go to where that template is. So now that's gonna be in to do index. So before we do anything here, we want to extend. So we can go, so we want to extend the other file. So we can go over here and use this syntax here. And we say extends. So when we say extends, we want to provide the path to the template we extend. So now we already know the template we extend is going to be in partials. So it's gonna be underscore partials slash base.html like this. So if we save this and come back, you see that now we have hello here, but our other but our other content is not really being shown. Like this content is not being shown. And one thing you will notice already is we are duplicating this already. So we're gonna remove the things we know we are duplicating. So let's remove all this and save. So if we save again and refresh, nothing is going to happen because yes, we extended, we extended but we are not actually overriding the parts we want to override. So whenever we create this and we create this block content, we need a way to now extend. So to extend, we also want to use block content and we also want to end block here and save. So now if we save again and come back to the application and reload, you see that now we extend things and we are also able to add our own things. So that's the way you can extend things. So to reuse different things, so in the header, Let's say we wanted to have a header everywhere. Let's say in this file. So we would go to the base and where we have the hello, let's use the header here. So we can we can now bring in the header by using the include tag. So let's also use that, so include. So we want to be including the, now let's put the path. So the path is going to be underscore partials slash header.html and save. So when we save this and come over here, is that now our header is here so every page we go to will definitely have this header but yeah so this is how you can include and also extend from different files in django so in the next video i'm going to be introducing you to a css framework that will make our life easier